Hello guys and welcome to a quite sad update on both my Borland colonies. Um, to start with the short and sad update, over here we have my Mimesia Brenovada queen. And as you can see, she is looking very fine. I wonder what's her mites update. Let me just check her mites. Would you like to walk through the door? I think that is a clear no. Of course, okay, I guess she's hiding in the shadow. But um, before I left on vacation, she had three quite nice looking larvae upon coming home from vacation, even though she was fed, but she didn't hunt. The larvae were gone. And can I get a glimpse of you? I'm not sure if she has mite or not. Basically, how I feed her now to ensure that she always gets the food is I remove this and feed her right there. Um, because I feels like I felt like before when I fed her in the outworld, she actually didn't come out into the outworld. Um, to experiment this, I've actually fed her um, a quite large cricket here. She hasn't touched it at all. Um, but the funny thing is she only goes out here with trash. So she cleans up after herself, but she's cleared out the trash without actually touching this. Um, so the only way she actually got food before was when the food walked all the way into this nest. She is experimenting in this sometimes, but yeah. It is a little bit of might update, might update, might update. Anyone in the mandibles? She looked quite clear. Nothing on the mandibles as far as I could see. Get out here. Either way, mites are not as bad as you clearly see them. So the way I now keep her is I keep her in the dark like this. Feed her in here. I need to clean this out. It is just my maintenance and I thought I'm going to do this while I do the maintenance. Then we have the really sad update. And that is basically <sighs> the bullying queen. She's living, oh, by the way, this is a colony from Ants & Co. There'll be a discount code in the description. And this whole setup is also from Ant & Co. This is also a colony from Ant & Co. Hey, and there's a discount in the description. You already knew that. Um, but I'm housing her in the mites. Hard to see. But I'm housing her in this Wakushi S3 outworld. Now, what happened to this girl? Well, it's quite sad. She had a lot of mites. She lived in the aesthetic nest. And half of all people, I put it in there, said, oh, the mites are going to get so much worse. And the other half said, no, they're going to get so much better. It got so much worse. Um, can I actually look in here? Basically, um, the mites came back. Oh, 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 I'll press it on the screen. I messed up. Well, that's how it is. Basically, the mites actually came back. Uh, okay, I'm just going to stop focusing. No, I'm just going to tell the story. Boom, that's busy. The mites came back in big fashion. I tried to clean them up. I've made a few shots. I've made a main channel video about it. Everything went wrong. Both Pop and Anthony started fighting to the death. I had to separate them. I think I heard Pop while separating them. Anthony had so many mites that I was recommended to take Anthony out of the colony. And he passed away. Now, Pop, I believe, had survived. Uh, she didn't have too many mites on her. She also died. Bessie, however, had um, a lot of eggs. She, I moved her into this setup. Uh, the eggs are gone. I thought it was because she wasn't actually going out to eat, so I decided to just keep her in a simple test tube setup without anything, so I could ensure that I put food right there and Bessie would eat it. Now, every time I came in, Bessie was almost escaping because she has pulled out so much cotton. You can see there's a little bit here. But basically, I had to change the cotton plug because she removed so much cotton it was insane so i thought you know what if she wants out so bad put her back in this outworld and feed her different things so i've tried feeding her crickets you can see here mealworms carcasses uh, there's even a, a live mealworm do you have any mites Bessie? do you have any mites my check i think she has a few on her mandible still uh yep she does but she is recovering Let, let's just say it like that uh, she doesn't have any on her eyes. Hello there, Bessie. Thumbnail. Um, but yeah, basically, she's lost everything. She's back to a queen who's basically just flown, except she has mites, and she's a weak queen without any eggs or any worker. So both of my bull line colonies here have lost all of their progress. Bernaveda queen lost her three big larvae. Haven't laid eggs since. Bessie has lost... She had two cocoons when I got her. The one cocoon failed, the other cocoon became pop. Then she laid, I think it was 16 or eggs, 12 eggs or something. Six of them became larvae. Five of them spun their cocoons. One of the cocoons hatched uh, Anthony. Then she had, I'm missing a segment, I think. Either way, 
she had another cocoon, the other cocoon died. Now she got mice big time and she's back here. Square one. I do believe these are the only two colonies are still keeping half mites. I don't think any other colonies have mites. Uh, I think it's because I'm feeding them crickets. And that's also why I'm experimenting a lot more with uh, such things as mealworms. Over here, I'm feeding my venators a lot more mealworms and different things. I did feed them some crickets to give them some good, good, good protein. Um, but tomorrow, I'll officially restart a cricket farm and do it right after the book from a separate store. All separate. Hopefully, there won't come any uh, mites from any of them. All right. So that is the sad bull end update that I've not been happy to share. But here we go. The story is out. By the way, I keep Bessie in the dark. I just removed it for the video. So I'm going to clean them up, put them back on the shelf, and don't look at them for two or three weeks. All right. Bye.